So my name is Michael Van Tyne. Um, I'm the 8th grade assistant principal at Darlington Middle School in Darlington, South Carolina. Okay, so I uh, graduated uh, with a bachelor's in secondary math education. Um, and so I taught at Darlington Middle School um, through Teach for America. That's how I kind of got down to South Carolina. Teach for America placed me in Darlington, South Carolina. I've been there ever since. Same school. Um, I taught there, taught math there. I became the technology coordinator. Um, and then I became the assistant principal. Um, I've also worked at Florence Johnson Tech as adjunct math professor. Um, and uh, I participated in the Rural School Leadership Academy. Um, and I did one summer as a school director for Teach for America in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. At a charter school. Yeah, yeah. And Sumter STEAM is, is, they're progressive in what they're trying to do. So we talk about, and it aligns very well with my core values. So you have an indiv individualized instructional program for the student, okay? Catering to them, meeting them where they are, getting them to where they need to go. Um, you also have the social emotional side, teaching the whole student, not just math, science, social studies, ELA incorporating the whole student in their interests. Um, finding out what their interests are to help them get to where they want to go, whether that's po any post-secondary option really. Call it for your college, associates to your um, or trade or career. Um, so we've covered individualized instruction, the whole child, um, social emotional, and for me a big component of this is, is all children. Um, that goes back to when I got into Teach for America. It was, it was every child, all children can get an equitable education. Um, and so I just envision this inaugural class coming into Sumter STEAM and in 12 years, every child walking across the stage, um, all 144 you know, projected students walking across the stage could be transformational. Those are just a few things that, that kind of going along with my vision and philosophy of education. Yeah, so the ground up approach means that every detail will be covered. Nothing will be left out. Um, and working with the board that seems so team oriented, you can ensure that something like that happens. Um, and you, you develop a, a successful model, a successful plan for this to, to take place. Um, another piece, when you have a, a, a mission statement and vision statement um, that, is, that is deeply rooted within the community, um, starting from the beginning means that everybody can be on board. Oftentimes when you don't start from the ground up, it's tough to get everybody on the same page. But when a community, when a close, tight-knit community can become grounded in that mission and vision from the beginning stages, it, it probably, you know, it's going to be really successful um, and, and you can maintain something like that. Communication is key um, and like I said before, when you can become grounded in the same mission and vision from, from, from ground up, um, that's easier to do. But communication is key, reaching out to all the stakeholders, uh, city leaders, all the community members. Um, you know, like Dr. Ivy said, they're walking the streets around the school at the prospective school trying to inform people about what's going on. Um, so that general awareness about the school and the goals that the school is trying to provide as well. Um, so I think just reaching out to all the population um, is going to be critical. So I work at a school where there's almost 1,100 students. Um, you know, there's almost 100, 100 staff members, and so the school is very large. I, my time there, I don't think there's um, an experience that will, there's not a situation that will come my way that I can't relate an experience to. Um, I've worked with everything from, you know, your books, buses and butts, to, to curriculum, um, finance, budgeting, um, you have duty schedule, so I've, I've had experience with so many different facets of the school um, it's, and it's been a tremendous opportunity that I've been able to do that. Um, so I don't think there's anything that will come my way that I can't relate to, um, 
But then again, if there, if there is something, I would use my resources and I'm solution oriented. So um, I would ensure that, that it's taken care of. Very similar to Sumter Steam. I mean, like I said um, before, we're starting with all children um, and not leaving anybody out. And, and, and the whole child, educating the whole child. Um, that's what's going to help make them become the citizens that we need them to be within the communities that we need them to be in. Um, I believe in parent involvement and community involvement. I think that's huge. Um, extending education beyond the four walls of the classroom, like I said before, um, are, are, some, are some core values of mine. Um, but on the, on the, I guess the smaller scale, we talk about um, perseverance, respect, and ownership. So I used to say like, be a pro. Um, those are three of the smaller scale core values that we talk about, and maybe people call them beliefs, um, but I always used to say like, be a pro. And those three aspects are, are critical for students to overcome any obstacle that they face. First thing comes to mind, I have almost an eight month old son. Um, he was actually born at Sumter to me. Um, and he is like the single greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, before it was like my wife and I getting married, but now that I got a kid, she's, you know, he's come, he comes first. Um, but, and, and we love him so much. Um, he's definitely changed me quite a bit. Um, and he's made me reflect on my beliefs and, and they're only stronger now because what I believed in before is evident with him because I want to see those things with him. So uh, a not, non-stop thought process about him um, is it, just one thing I can share, you know, with the community. Um, you know, and I'm also, I, 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 deep down I'm an athlete. You know, I was a three-sport athlete in high school. I played volleyball in college and so team is big for me, sports is big for me. Um, and so I, I got a competitive drive. I'm a competitor. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, I live in Camden, so it's just, just right, around the, right around the corner. Um, but Sumter, to me, is unique in the geographical location. Um, every road comes through Sumter, right? You have Charleston, Myrtle Beach, Columbia. Um, and so Sumter's like the hub, and it provides a, a really diverse community um, with all different types of people, especially with Shaw Air Force Base. You have this military population that comes on in. And so you, you have this diverse population, but at the same time, it is, it is close-knit and, and tight. And that is extremely hard to find. Um, and it seems like the community is fully behind what Sumter STEAM is trying to do. And to be a part of something like that um, would be a dream come true.